to the Shannon Pearl Band van. We are off to Berwick. We thought that we would do our um, Q&A in the van on the way to a gig because basically that's the only time you're going to get us all in the same room for any length of time. And when I say room, I mean cabin, van, cockpit. <laughs> so you've all submitted your questions and there was a bazillion of them so I've only written a few down. The one I remember actually said, ask the drummer, which is John, do you have any regrets <laughs> joining the Shannon Pearl Band? I mean, my response to that was that I don't think I actually joined the band, I was just in it by default. There was never a moment where I was like, yes, I will join this band. gigs or small intimate gigs? Uh, I don't know. Um, I prefer gigs when they're dark if you can't you kind of feel like no one can see you. <laughs> I like big stages because yeah. that means I can jump around. Yeah, you are pretty good at doing If it. I'm squished I can't move. Actually yeah, that's my problem because yeah. my bow ends up we end someone's up nose. Poking yeah each other's yeah. eyes out so big ones for us. Yeah. What about you John? Big or small gigs? We were talking about this the other night with like the Whitley Bay gig where it's like 700 odd people. I'm more comfortable playing like that than playing to like two people in an empty pub who are intently staring at you. <laughs> I'd rather play to 700 people. Gigs 
do like the original gigs don't attract the same kind of esoteric carnage. <laughs> um, for example, at a covers gig, I once had someone stand like literally this close. I'm not joking, this close to my face for a full 45 minutes, and he wouldn't move, and it was really weird. But I couldn't go anywhere because it was a small space and a small stage. <laughs> All of the people that have been or have claimed to have been ghosts. Which there's been more than one occasion. They've all yeah. Been oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a couple of ghosts that gigs. Like what I've talked. Some more believable than others. Like I think one of them probably was a ghost, but <laughs> some of them were just drunk. Oh, yeah. We played this gig as a humour, as a duo, um, once. Yeah, it was like a really dark winter's night. It was a proper spooky vibe. Anyway, you have to go down a like dark country windy road to get there. We got there. We set up. We played the gig, and everyone was dancing, including this raggy looking guy just looked like your average chav sort of guy and he had a very distinctive uh, like cross tattoo on his neck and script on the other side and then um, afterwards what did he say when they finished the game was he like did you know that i died upstairs yeah he, he was a, a reaver and he was he was chased by the law in the early 1700s and he and, stole all the copper from and, upstairs yeah and they found him upstairs in the pub and after a fight he was stabbed and died in the room above and he told us this pretty this was just after we'd been playing like Christmas songs and he was dancing and having a really nice time. Well that wasn't even the worst of it because I think it was the next week or something I forgot about this guy and I was on the bus home from work in Sunderland and the bus stopped at a traffic light and I looked to the left and here's this guy with the cross tattoo and the script on one side smiling at us going <laughs> when he was, so that's one weird band story. Bananas. What about bananas? Bananas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Jen didn't trust it in case I had LSD. Did, yeah, Jen I didn't, didn't trust those bananas <laughs> one day. Some people wanted to give us fruit. Very, very excited to give us fruit. Like, overly excited. Ne never trust someone who's like really enthusiastic to give you some fruit. <laughs>
gig at somewhere else in Sunderland tonight with Yerson, meaning it's grindcore band. Oh yeah, yeah. So I think the bands that have probably influenced us more than any other were like local like metal bands and like anything kind of extreme and metal. But I tend to go out to more like local unsigned gigs and things like that than I do listen to like big stadium rock and stuff.